Hello, parents. Welcome to Back to School Night. This is Dr. David Masters talking to you about Religions of the World, a 12th grade class. Religions of the World is the only class out of the eight semesters where we focus on the other religions of the world that are not biblical religions. What the Catholic Church teaches, if you want part of the truth, you can look at the other religions, you will see, you will find ray, reflections of rays of the truth. If you want the whole truth, you need the Holy Trinity. You need the Son of God, through whom God the Father reconciled all of creation to himself. So if you want the whole truth, you need the Blessed Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you want reflections of rays of the truth, parts of the truth, many of the other religions have some of it. This is Catholic teaching. I'm Dr. David Masters. I've been teaching theology at Monsignor Pace since the 1980s, since 1989. And I've been an adjunct professor of theology and ministry at St. Thomas University since 2005. These are my wonderful, generous parents. This is my family, my wife, my sons, my older son from the class of 2019, Monsignor Edward Pace, and my younger son is in 12th grade at Monsignor Pace right now, Marcos Masters. Here we are as a family on a mission trip in Central America. This is Ruben, my first son, who's now studying mechanical engineering and playing soccer at Harding University in Arkansas. There's Marcos, who's still at Pace. And here is my, my bachelor's degree diploma from Boston College, my master's degree diploma from St. Thomas University, and my doctoral diploma from Barry University. I'm very dedicated as a part-time missionary with a long-term commitment to a modern acción. Through Modern Action, we sponsor our sister schools in IET, what people call Haiti, and it's very important to me. And I'm, along with Mr. Novella, on the board of directors now. It's also very important to Mr. Bonet and many other Monsignor Pace teachers like Mr. Mendive and Mr. Manriquez. Anyhow, I'm also involved with the Re-evangelization of Cuba through Cristo in Cuba and Católicos Cubanos Unidos. We're using Emmaus retreats, Emmaus retreats, as people call them, in order to uh, re-evangelize this communist country. I'm also very dedicated to the Iraqi Christian Relief Council. I'm a member of the board of the directors as well, and we help survivors of ISIS, refugee families in Iraq, in Syria, in Lebanon, Jordan, and Turkey. It's a great organization. If you, if you wanna make a donation and make a big difference to help the survivors of ISIS, you can't do anything, you can't do any better than the Iraqi Christian Relief Council. You can make donations through PayPal, like I do. I'm also involved with KUFI, Christians United for Israel, the Phyllis Schlafly Eagles, especially in the summer. This is a pro-family, pro-life organization. Phyllis Schlafly is, the known, is known as the, the woman who put the, the, uh, the pro-life plank into the political platform. I'm also involved with the Leadership Institute, Florida Family Policy Council. And look at this, my first book on amazon.com, Ruined for Life, it's about missionaries. It's full of stories. If you want to check it out, um, all the proceeds that I get, which is only about $4 per book, go to the missions. You just go to amazon.com, type in David Masters Ruined, and you'll be able to find it. And I mentioned, proudly mentioned Monsignor Pace inside the book and even on the back cover. And it's quite an interesting book. I'm sorry it costs so much. It's not my choice. Now let's get to this class, uh, Religions of the World. 
So these are some worthy goals for a theology class, to pray, to practice virtue, to share, to learn something, to expand our minds and hearts, to do our own work, to stay out of trouble, to stay out of summer school, and to stay home during exam, exam week because you earn an exemption from the final exam. These are topics we're gonna cover. Afterlife schemes, religious magic, animism, Zoroastrianism, Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, the founders of the different religions and some cults. This is a, a, a theory uh, that I came up with or indicators to find, to identify Christian offshoot cults. These are some of the religions we're gonna deal with, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, the Latter-day Saints, Scientology, New Age Movement, the Unification Church, also known as the Moonies, Animism, Spiritism, Christian Science, people who claim to be the second coming of Christ, people who believe the world is going to end very soon, known as imminent eschatologists, some racist cults, some deadly cults, killed about a thousand people in one day, these people, so did these people. These people killed about 75 people in one day. These are some guidelines, and these are the main tools that we're going to use to achieve our goals in this class for the students to do their work. Shobi and Zoom, Zoom and Shobi. Again, folks, remember, Catholic Church teaches if you want part of the truth, you can look at the other religions. They, they reflect rays of the truth. But if you want the whole truth, you need the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much for your attention.